The next one is a big fake. I want to try to mimic a sort of a image based lighting pass. Now really, if a bunch of TDs would see this, they would probably kill me. But it does somehow affect the image in a positive way. You can use it or not, it certainly gives you more creative control. And as I like to say, better do a cool fake than a shitty physical. So let's do our awesome fake. Nah, it's not that awesome. Uh, so let's go down here. What we need is a copy of our HDR image. So copy, control C, click on an empty area and control shift V to paste in an instance. Now you want to blur the shit out of this one since we don't want this to look like reflections. Blur it like so. Now, since this is supposed to take the colors of our environment, it should have the same orientation as our environment HDR image. So let's grab a copy of the sphere map and drop an instance in here. And hook in the blur node. Now, if you would rotate this map here, it would automatically rotate the environment reflection image. Okay, time is running. Next, add a reflect material. Followed by a replace material. And again, branch out from the replace normal node and hook into the replace material 3D. View it. And now let's also hook in our reflection material. Okay, since this is not supposed to look like a reflection material, let's hook this into the background channel instead. And look what we get here. Also, hook it into the reflect color material. Let's bring in a merge 3D node, hook this in, and let's grab an instance of the camera. Now, there's also a different workflow which would need only one camera. For that, you would have to add a merge 3D with a camera attached right after the replace normal node. Doing so would pass on the camera to all our passes. However, I want you to get used to the wireless workflow. Let's grab a copy of the renderer we used for the reflect pass and drop it here. Connect the replace material and move it to the same height so it's easier to read. Basically, I have my replace materials at this height, my merge 3D at this and the renderer all lined up here. Great, this is how it looks at the moment, but let's go back to the reflect material and tweak that a little bit. Set the glazing strength to 0.17 and the phase on strength to about 0.01. You don't want to make it too strong, otherwise it will look like a reflection. Additionally, you could actually use Fusion's new texture renderer to actually bake this result into the texture itself. Are you with me? I know it's a lot, but trust me, it's just the tip of the iceberg. Now, while we're here, let's create a technical pass. For that, let's copy the Merge 3D node and the renderer. Paste and branch out from here. Set it up as you have learned and view the renderer. It looks exactly the same because we haven't changed anything yet. So what we want now, we want the technical passes which are necessary to create the ambient occlusion. Now the ambient occlusion tool wants the normal and the Z pass inside the output channels drop down. But be careful, do not activate the super sampling for these passes since we don't want these passes anti-aliased. I'll show you something. Let me switch our viewer to the red channel. Imagine this is our Z pass. It's not, just imagine. This gray area here represents the area close to the camera, while this dark area represents the far away area. Now, if we use anti aliasing here, the depth of field tool, for instance, would assume that this value here is somewhere in between the far area and the close by area. So you would get false results here. So 
Super sampling, no, no, no do. Okay, with that said, let's switch back to the RGB display because we need one more thing in order to make the ambient occlusion work correctly. A world sphere. Let's do that quickly by adding a shape 3D which we will set to sphere. For the size, you need to make this thing huge. Bring the radius up to 50. Go over to the Transform tab and scale it even more. You can scale or use the radius, whatever you like. I prefer both because sometimes you have the width and the height set unproportionally, so the scale would be the logical call. Okay, now we have created a sort of image-based lighting fake pass. I know. And we also set our technical passes. You can see them listed inside this drop down here and of course view them. Here we have the Z channel and the normals. Okay, we ain't got time, so let's move to the next pass.